All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to some Vampire Survivors. So, it's been updated again. I play this about once a week, and it's perfect if it remembers that I have a controller. Perfect. Okay, so I was going to just show this. So, unlock hyper mode for two stages, which, oddly enough, I already have that, but I guess I just have to do a hyper mode run, maybe to get it to realize. The other one that we have is recover a total of 1,000 HP and earn 500 coins in a single run. That unlocks the two other characters. There might be more that I don't have unlocked, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna unlock those first, and then we'll work our way up. So I gotta be rich, and I've gotta be, I gotta take some damage. All right, so we're gonna go for Mortatio just because Mortatio, actually, I probably should have, I probably should take some damage here. Cause I'm not quite sure how health recovery works with this game, to be honest. Uh, oh, you know what I should have also gotten? Uh, we want to go for the whip. The garlic is good, and I should probably grab the garlic. But no, we should probably grab the green gem. I kind of forgot it existed. It's been a little while since I last played this. Okay, we don't... Eh, let's grab the lightning ring. Lightning ring is good stuff. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So we want to take some damage here. And we want to get, we want to get the crown. We want to get the stone mask, but it's already available ish and do we want the knife do we want the cross go for the cross cross is always good namely on this map i originally thought the cross was kind of just hit and miss mediocre on this one but uh, surprisingly no anyway bone hollow heart we need the hollow heart because we want to get the whip upgraded as fast as possible so i can really start on recovering as much life as i possibly can uh, ba, 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 ba. Other things that we're going to need, looking at this. The lightning ring doesn't evolve unless that's been changed. The cross does evolve, but I... Uh, no, uh, evolving the cross. Getting getting the upgraded sword is actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. That's going to force me to pick a weird bonehead pick. As long as we're on the library, I can always kind of control things a little bit. We don't need to get the book, I, I, unless things have changed drastically. I mean, who knows? Uh, let's see, do I go spinach? I don't know. We go whip. I want to lock in my choices kind of early, but I'm a little bit unsure of what I want to go for. We definitely want to pick up um, probably the Pumarola, which means that maybe I should should maybe I should pick up the garlic. Eh, garlic's kind of eh on Mortatio. I'm not even sure if we need it. Grab the Rune Tracer. We're just gonna... We're gonna go for a, a... Low. Oh, yeah, let's just get the Bibble in the mix. I think that'll be our, our nice combination. I could, like, go for Pigeon, but Pigeon... Pigeon is an investment. We actually... We want to hit max upgrade as fast as possible. Not max level, just max upgrade. Uh, that way we can really, really just roll in the EXP. And get as much as we possibly can. Right, I need to take some damage again. Because I've got to heal a lot of HP. Unless it counts healing uh, past full as well. It's possible. It's unlikely, but it is possible. Let's see. I guess the other thing I could pick up would be the... Uh... Okay, we don't actually want the clock. Damn it, we picked it up anyway. Yeah, the pocket watch isn't really that useful. It unfortunately has the... Hey, duplicator. It slows enemies down for, like, a substantial amount of time, which really just means they stop spawning as much. It's not as bad on the forest, but it's kind of annoying in the library. When you effectively do not need it either. There we go. Let's see, so I've been, I don't know, I don't know what to talk about now. The last couple times I've been recording this, I usually get baited into something I'm passionate about, which is kind of like a good-bad thing. Uh, doesn't really matter too much. So we, yeah, we do want to pick up the clover. Because I'm very passionate about a lot of stuff, and it's very easy if somebody uh, wants to, like, ask me a question. I will, I will 100% just dive right in and just be like, as long as I, I feel like I'm not going to completely uh, destroy the point I'm trying to make, uh, I will just dive right in and, and go for it if I can. I usually feel like I'm pretty okay. 
Uh, so what do we need? We need the clover. I might as well grab the attract orb just because convenience. Uh, because I think the only thing that we need at this point is the clover. Might as well just grab this. Gives me another broken heart. Uh, broken heart. Hollow heart. There we go. Because we already got the duplicator, which is kind of one of the big ones. Uh, let's see. So I guess spellbinder. We got to keep an eye out for the spellbinder and the bibble, if we can. Boy, how the hell... Was it f oh, it was 5,000 coins, 1,000 health. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to need to take some damage here, though. Which might not be the easiest. I guess the real trick is just to plow my face into enemies. Which is a very odd strategy, all things considered. Uh, let's see. Candle Labrador? No. Clover? Yes. I should... I want to go for the whip. Max that out up as much as I possibly can. We'll see. Well, worst comes to worst, I just end up making 5,000 in a single run. And then that's good enough for at least for now. I, interestingly enough, I'm not doing the only go right run. This is just pure unlocks. Uh, just to, you know, give me some variety. I think there might also be some other, like, secret classes. Uh, secret classes, secret other characters. Because I know there might be something for killing the Grim Reaper, which is wild. Okay, there we go. That's all we need at this point is, like, maybe the Boomerola. Maybe. And even then, I'm not terribly convinced that the Pumarola is going to be, like, the end-all be-all here. Uh, but at the same time, what else am I going to grab? So let's just grab it. Because, yeah, I'm trying to heal myself as much as possible, get as much money as possible. Oh, shoot. I didn't want the Pumarola. I wanted the crown. Oh, well, here's a new interesting problem. My, uh, my controllers run out of juice. And now I'm just permanently charging to the right until I get control of myself. Instead of solving this the right way, I'm going to go get some batteries. Or the, that, I guess that fixes the problem. I got my controller, everything is back and going, and hi. There we go. Alright. Running out of batteries isn't a problem in games. I don't care. I'm just here. Nothing can stop me. And I want to take damage. This is a hurt me plenty kind of run. Uh, let's see. I just want to grab as many of these as possible. Yeah, I, I should have gone for the crown instead. Well, if we end up just going for a healing run, and then we get the uh, the crown on the next one, then so be it. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Nope, we don't actually want that one. Let's go get the stone mask, though, because that is that is actually going to be pretty helpful. Even this early on, we don't get that much money, but we get enough. Let's keep leveling bone. There we go. But, uh, I don't know. I think I've just always been like a very passionate person about things. Uh, oop, hi. There's some nice healing. Honestly, maybe if I wanted a, a hurt me plenty kind of run, maybe I should have gone to the forest. You really do take a lot more damage in that one. Uh, yeah, let's grab the attract orb. Makes my life easier. Even if it's not like immediately or amazingly the most helpful. I think... <laughs> Oddly enough, I think it's just due to all of the video games that I played growing up. Uh, the idea of being influenced by stuff, nature, nurture, and so on and so forth. I really, truly do believe in a lot of cases, at least for humanity at this point, that a lot of our our situation is kind of driven by people's like environment more than anything else. And you really can tell like who you're around, which results in like kind of what you turn out to be. And, uh, like, oddly enough, I grew up in a bit of a vacuum. Uh, I moved around a ton as a kid. Not military. My dad's a... Uh, I don't want to say a famous geneticist. He tries to keep the DL uh, down low. I don't know. Uh, he He's not interested in accolades. He's interested in the work. Which means he's he's been on a lot of, like, big projects. But he doesn't really put his name out there. Uh, which I actually think is really cool. And... Like, it's... It's odd to think, like, as far as, um, you know, being a, a D-list or a C-list celebrity, I have no idea where I stand as an internet content creator, like, what kind of list celebrities you, uh, we even qualify for. Because, like, you know, to some degree, like, creators like Ninja very much uh, can kind of claim that, like, I'm a higher tier celebrity, probably still, like, a B or a C-list or something like that, but... I gotta imagine that I'm I'm somewhere on the 
the same vein as like daytime television soap opera actor question mark um anyway i digress pretty hard on that one <laughs> shell's groaning yeah i'm not fair enough i don't know i i'm actually curious about that from a viewership perspective because i'm always taken away uh, taken aback by like how little viewership certain um television shows like rack up but i think that might have been like concurrent or something i was looking at westworld and it was like two point whatever million views and i'm like are there's got to be some content creators that actually do get watched more than like some big television shows and i'm curious about the scale in that regard anyway so like i said digress kind of hard here the uh the idea of environment and how that kind of uh accounts for you as a person and so like from my perspective we moved around a ton um and so i didn't really have the same do i actually want to go for the puma roll no we want to upgrade the whip uh i didn't really have the same like n group of friends that i think a lot of people had growing up you know the the close-knit group of friends that you know would do everything together hang out on the weekends you know go out to movies stuff like that like i got a little bit of that but i was always kind of a hang on based on like I would jive with a couple of people and they'd invite me to some things and then maybe I get kind of close to people for a little while but some kind of personality conflict would go by um I should have picked up the whip I didn't I didn't even see it there I was just like ooh, bone because I want to just max bone out to reduce my options here I'm just gonna be going to the right I really need to keep an eye out for the stone mask well worst comes worse we just turn right back around and go the other way I don't know if I've gone far enough, so I think we'll just stick to the top, go right for a while, and then eventually turn turn back, and hopefully it'll just show up somewhere along the way. I don't know. I don't really care. If this run isn't what gets it for me, then so be it. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Words, things, moving, friends, stuff. I, I've told stories about, like, my kind of iffy luck with friends. It's not like I've had truly tremendous luck. Uh, tremendously terrible luck. Like, I've I've met friends with way worse friends than I have. Um, you know, people that truly do just get screwed over uh, relentlessly due to their desire to be around people. And like, I definitely screwed myself over by my desire to be a bit of a, well, I don't know, I'm a bit of a people pleaser sometimes. Um, but that, you know, I very much was trying to kind of appe appease certain people in my environment, and that wasn't always the best idea. There we go. I've probably gone past it at this point. It'd be pretty weird if I haven't. See, I really was just going to the right for a while. I'm sure somebody's even noticed it, but that yep, was Spellbinder. That's yeah, fine. There's the Red Whip. That's what I was looking for. Let's see. It is healing me. Okay, good. But so, what was I going to say? Friends and some other things. So, as part of uh, this kind of vacuum, I had to rely on, I think, television and movies, maybe more so than a lot of people from my generation, for like, hey, morality and caring about people and some other things. And it's interesting, uh, you know, seeing stuff like Paragon and Renegade options. Because, uh, like, I grew up with a lot of, like, KOTOR and some other things. And, you know, how much kind of morality you just kind of pick up by, by playing a game that has, like, choices. Like, do you want to be an unrelenting jerk to the people around you? Or do you want to be kind of nice and work with people and then, you know, also righteously smite people that suck? And it's like, yeah, that sounds fun. Uh, so I think I've always had trouble with the whole kind of renegade option. Uh, at least when characters are like, okay, yeah, it, there's no way. It's got to be to my left. I've, uh, ba, 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 ba. I've always struggled with, like, the Renegade options in Bioware, in especially, you know, Mass Effect and Dragon Age, or any of their kind of adjacent games made by other developers, uh, you know, that it just never jived with me, it always felt wrong, which, I mean, it's supposed to, but it just felt like, you know, this guy's a, <laughs> this guy's just a colossal, he's gonna combine jerk and dick together into jick. 
Which, I mean, eh. But I just need to take some damage. Let's just block left. I'm sure I'll take some some hits just passing these guys. So I might just heal naturally. Or I might, like, overhealing might count. I'm not really sure. But so, as somebody that I think has always had trouble, a little bit of trouble connecting with other people uh, for reasons. Uh, let's grab that. Let's boost Lightning Ring. Because a couple levels in Lightning Ring suddenly makes it tremendously better. Though I think it's still kind of on the weak side at the moment. Uh, bah, 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 bah. But yeah, so always had troubles kind of connecting with people. The The idea of just being a jerk to the people around me for... Largely unclear or just selfish reasons always kind of just didn't make a whole lot of sense. I guess I'd got to move up and down if I want to take some damage here because I'm actually killing things too fast. This is kind of a, a quiet moment, so I can kind of understand it. Um, I actually got to pay attention a little bit here. Okay. And walk through the boss if I can. Hurt me. Nope. He died first. This is a weird run. Straight up episode title is just gonna be hurt me plenty. <laughs> it might actually be. I I don't know. I always come up with those kind of off the cuff. I usually don't title my episodes based on what I'm talking about. It just kind of happens. But I remember a long time ago somebody was actively trying to convince me, and it's like, no, no, no. People like you better when you are a dick to them. I think that is actually true because it kind of forces people. Uh, it's kind of this, like, screwed up Stockholm Syndrome where it's just like, if you're mean to a person, then they feel like they've, they need to earn your respect and so they're nicer to you in turn, whereas if you're, like, relentlessly nice to them, then they don't have to think about, uh, like, they don't spend the emotional bandwidth on trying to make you happy. Here, I should probably go to the right a little bit just in case I missed it because I was going down just a smidge. I doubt I did. It's probably to the left. And honestly, if I have to redo this fight because... Or this this run because I didn't do it right. Okay. Yeah. No. No way we passed it. Uh, do we want to get... Yeah, let's just grab Pumarola. Not that it's really making much of a difference. I think I should have just gone for the crown. But whatever. There we go. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so somebody was trying to convince me that it's like, no, you really do actually just need to be terrible to the people around you to get have good friends. And I've, I've just, I, I've never believed them because they didn't seem very happy. Maybe they had like a closer knit group of friends, but all of them were just mean, just mean to each other. It wasn't good. I'd rather have no friends than bad friends. I guess this is an easy way to put it. And that was, that actually was something that took years for me to learn. Um, you know, even up through college, I was very much okay with having mediocre friends as long as I had friends. And it's like, nope, that's, that's, I, I know humans are social creatures and need to, like, they feel the need to have social connections with other people, but boy, it's not worth it. Hurt me, Medusa. Oh shit, that hurt. Okay, I just got to heal for a bit. I guess I might as well keep going to the left. It's not like it really matters. I just kind of heal passively just by... There we go. Oh. Because I have to actually pick up the... The treasure chest. There we go. Another spell binder. Perfect. In retrospect, getting the... Uh, maxed up Bibble is probably going to be the last thing I want to do. Because... Uh... Boy, once we get that, it's going to be hard for me to take damage, and I probably should have... Ah, gosh, what should I have gone for? I have no idea. Hopefully, I'll just kind of unlock all the healing that I need, or we just do another run with this, where I just try and make it work again, but this time with the crown. Because the crown is the other thing that you need. Oh, there it is. Wow, I passed this a long time ago. I think it's because I was trying to avoid the uh, stopwatch. I just did not process that it was there. I was really weird looking at them all frozen in that way. But even up into college, there was kind of that feeling of like, well, this person is a jerk, but maybe they're just grumpy or had a bad life. And so instead of being 
you know, in, instead of recognizing that this person is a is a toxic person, um, you know, I I kind of had that uh, that idea of just like, well, I'll just try and cater to them. And you know what? Actually, I even had this problem, um, you know, post post college. There was definitely a number of people that I still associated with that, yeah, weren't good for me. Or maybe they were, but they weren't like in a good way, if that makes sense. Like you can still have a good relationship with somebody that is objectively terrible with you. Uh, you know, even if they are just like mean or, you know, outright just insulting or unhelpful or kind of selfish, you can still have a positive relationship with them as long as there's that kind of give and take. But at the same time, ultimately when it co comes down to it is that is it is a friendship at another person's convenience as opposed to like an actual proper friendship, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, and like that took a long time to learn. I think I think even even now there's still kind of that just like, but what if people, uh, which has been heavily accentuated by, you know, hey, pandemic, uh, pretty much haven't been around friends. I, <laughs> I literally saw one of my friends for the first time in months possibly a year I'm not keeping track uh, it was June oh boy I'm actually dying I should stop for a second and heal up there we go but yeah, it was just to drop something off we weren't even hanging out it was just to say hi it was darkened I could barely even see their face we were all wearing masks and there was just kind of that awkward feeling of like this just kind of is socialization for me at this point before anybody goes on the the thing of like, you know, you just need to accept the risks and open back up and whatever. I know somebody's going to think that. I had pneumonia as a kid and I've always had kind of shit lungs. And so the idea of just reintegrating back into society regardless of, you know, the threat of COVID. Regardless of how quote unquote mild it is. No, please, please don't think that. Never suggest that to somebody else because you don't know what's up with them. And a friend in high school who needed a cane, but only needed a cane outside of school because for the most part, their um, their need for the cane. Okay, I'm just going to take a bunch of damage here. Their need for the cane was only if they were going to walk like longer than a mile. And so I actually didn't even know they had a cane up until they hit. Well, no, up until I saw them in an anime convention and they were walking with the cane and they actually looked pretty bad off for it i was like oh you know is this new and they're like no 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 you know i just don't tell people about it because it doesn't matter um but you know the person was always kind of rail thin and uh never was in any of the sports teams or gym class which was mandatory but i never questioned it everybody has kind of their own circumstances and i think you could get out of it if you asked your parents nicely enough um but yeah it was kind of one of those like absolute surprises like oh you know, you're you're not healthy and that it's very easy to kind of miss that sort of thing just at face value. And a lot of people just kind of take everything at face value, you know, that, you know, you look fine. You're not currently in a wheelchair. Therefore, you, you know, you are just as fine as everybody else. You're not currently dying. Therefore, that means you're healthy. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this one necessarily, but just the... <laughs> the constant bother of the idea of like, well, you look fine, therefore you are fine. I think that boils down to that discussion about uh, depression that we had a couple episode, episodes ago. And it's like, I am 90% functional, but that last 10% is a doozy if something sets it off. And that's lungs included. Oh, well, that worked. That was a good combo right there. that long stream of EXP that I've just been okay I don't think I want to ram into that mid bo mid boss face first I'm actually I'm keeping my HP down as long as I'm below maximum I'm good okay I'll just walk through him that hurts real bad oh I should go get the chest there we go Uh, Bibble? Nah. Max health. Clover. I'm just gonna try and max out everything but the Bible. Wow! Okay, something caught up with me there. That must have been the crystallized 
Ha. Huh. The crystallized stuff from previously. Ah, uh, do I go get the cooldown reduction? Maybe? Because that actually would help me. Like, I, I'm realizing going with the, uh, the, the Bibble was actually a terrible idea. If only from the perspective of, like, I am now too protected and I'm no longer being hurt. Oh, I should have thought about that. Oh, it's okay. Uh, see how much money have I made. I've made 2,000. Like, there's a real possibility I can still maybe make 5k off of this. It's going to be tough. And it really kind of quite makes me question down to the, like, the last couple levels. Or last couple minutes. That's going to be where everything kind of boils boils down. Um, that's going to that's going to be what gets me all the exp. Watch me have gone past the book at this point. Well, you know what? If that's the case, so be it. It's like this is a go left episode. Eh, it's fine. I mean, it does look like I'm still healing eight HP, regardless. So I might actually get the the healing upgrade. All the same, if I'm lucky. I was probably just distracted by something because I have been walking left for a while. Like at least six, seven minutes. I did get distracted here and there, but I don't know. Happens. It'd be nice if there was like a, a strip of carpet to denote like, hey, by the way, this is the spot that you should be stopping. Oh. Back bat. I need you to hurt me. I need you to hurt me. Well... A little too late on that one, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. There we go. Well, hopefully I've sustained enough damage. And also, hopefully, I, you know, I'm at 2,000. I'm at 2,000 gold. There's a reasonable shot at me getting up to 5k here. If I've only got 30 levels to go. Mm, no. I mean, maybe, but probably not. Because I make what? 40? 40 or so gold per level? So what's 30 times 40? 1,200? Yeah, I ain't gonna get me it. All right, at this point, I've gone past the book. There's no way. We'll just turn right back around. Who cares? I mean, I do a little bit, but still. Money. Sweet. Oh, right. The chests do give me a, a fair bit. I don't know how many chests we're going to get, though. But it does give me the option. Option? The ability. And then I'll just try this again with the whip and maybe some other things. I, I'll figure it out. Or we just keep trying and just run runs until I actually get it. Because, yes, I could modify uh, I could modify things or really throw runs in a way that might give me what I want faster. I mean, it seems like a really heavy luck build would do it. Though, this was kind of a heavy luck build. I guess I just didn't go for the clovers fast enough. Either way, I was gonna say. Friends, things, learning it's okay to not have friends. I mean, that's kind of it. Uh, I think part of this I wanted to talk about a little bit just in regards to, like, community management and some other things. Uh, whew. That's a lot of... That's a lot of foes. There we go. Gosh, I wish I could keep this flame breath. It is so busted. Which is probably why it will never become a permanent power-up. Or, like, an upgrade path that you could take. It's okay. Must have had the thing that just insta gives a lot of foes. If only I could get small amounts of money and said, oh, something there hurt me. I mean, maybe I was plowing in the, into them a little bit too much. Who knows? I could just get killed. Uh, that'd certainly be 5,000 damage. But no, I have to heal 5,000 damage, not just take it. I mean, tomato, tomato, as long as I'm not dead. 
Yeah, I think it's just getting touched by one of these is actually really painful. So like the one or two that make it through is actually like really dangerous. Oh, I don't recognize this one actually. <laughs> I love the animation is just tottering back and forth. Nah, damn. Yeah, one or two golden chests would go so far. Or not golden chest, but like, you know, oh gosh, well, I did die. Well, did I get anything useful? Probably not. We did recover a total of 1,000 HP, so we've unlocked, uh, Clericky and the Hyper Green Arena. All right, we've got some, we've got some new things at the very least, even if it wasn't everything. Okay, permanent healing, extra max health, starts with a temporary area bonus. Interesting. Well, that sounds kind of fun. I guess I will give that a shot, uh, for the next episode. Was this one a little short? No, it wasn't, because I, I did the cut earlier when I ran out of batteries. Perfect. I don't know where I was going with the point I made. Hopefully I made it. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a weird podcast, not podcast at this point, because it's hard to talk about the game, because nothing is really going on with it. It's fun, but not, not much is really happening, which is fine. Power up. Do we have anything more? Oh, we haven't actually invested in greed. That would go a long way, wouldn't it? I was mostly invested in recovery. But yeah, maxing this out would probably also mean I'd start making a lot of money. Well, time to see how Clericky works. I temporary area bonus, it's just a lot of health, which is kind of limiting, but it's fine. Oh, what are their stats like beyond that? Wow, that area bonus is wild. 410% in the beginning, we'll have to see what that does. I wish I could start with that permanently.